Can you spot the vulnerability in this code snippet? If not, then don't worry because I'm going to show you. We are looking at two Node.js applications. Let's start with the app.js. This express server has one endpoint, copy file, that allows users to copy a file through a URL. What could be the vulnerability here? Well, the server is downloading a file through a user-supplied URL, so this must be an SSRF or server-side request forgery, right? Well, there is some middleware here. It is called anti-SSRF, and what does it do? Well, it makes a DNS lookup to the URL supplied by the user, and if the address returned by the lookup is not this specific IP address, then it will say not allowed. Why is it important? Well, to make SSRF impactful, we want to, for example, make requests to the local host. And that is exactly where our second Express application comes into play. As you can see, this simple web server hosts a flag, but the server is only open on local host, so we can't access it directly. But this server is vulnerable to a DNS rebinding attack. What's that? Well, the attacker controls a domain and a DNS server. If we send the target that domain, then it will try to get the domain's IP address from our server. But what if after it gets the IP address, we change where the domain points to? Now our DNS server is also returning a very low TTL or time to live, which means that when the server actually makes the request, it will do a DNS lookup once again and get the local host as the IP address. Quick practical run of the exploit, we have a rebinder service here that will constantly switch between localhost and the allowed IP. We then just request the flag file from that domain and boom, we get the flag. If you want to dig deeper into this topic, then I'll post some links for you in the replies. And if you want us to make more of these vulnerable code snippets, then be sure to like and follow us. That's all folks.